Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Magical Star Sign with me, Strawberry Eggs. Last time we defeated the Gummy Girl with some very horrific implications, which will be elaborated upon here. So, let's take a look at the access card we want off of her. Access granted to Apple Pie's personal page. Apple Pie, one word. <laughs> anyway, Apple Pie's diary. Personal indeed. Dr. Calzone asked me to fly over to Erg. This place is absolutely nothing. I can't believe civilization once flourished here. It's a lot different than Puffoon. I look up at the sky and I feel like I'm going to be sucked up. It's almost like I could just fly away here. The moles are trying to communicate with me, but I don't understand a word of what they're saying. Stupid Calzone insisted I talk to the moles. He definitely overestimated my psychic abilities. I'm no psychic slouch and I still can't communicate with them. Oh, that's kind of fun. Cool. The computer's sort of saying it aloud for you, it seems. I hear Dr. Calzone's group been working on a project to make robots fully automated and autonomous. Robots are already running wild everywhere. Is it really safe to let them run rampant? <laughs> I know. I understand their four-year plan is improving robotic AI. Four-year plan. It means I can't go back to Puffoon for four more years. Ow, Ribbit Ribbit Alpha completed. Their performance figures are off the charts! Really? Ribbit, ribbit. Dr. Calzone has started the beta version, but he's bummed because management hasn't given him the green light. I'm getting worried about him. PSI Capability Amplification Test. Tables should have been turned. PSI... Psy! Why am I afraid with some people saved from Earthbound? Dr. Calzone used to make fun of Psy abilities, but nobody doubts their potential now. I wonder if the test will go well or not. Some people were excited to see ashes and flower petals falling. They couldn't tell what really happened. That made me a little sad. Looks like they brought in more technicians again. They also brought in a load of psi techs. Do they have a clue what they're conducting? Tests on twists and bending space? I'm not so sure. I don't quite get what the techs are thinking. In other words, I hear people and money have been scarce back home. I wonder if my folks are doing okay. Dr. Calzone is acting weird. He says he'll send me back to Buffoon soon. I hope he's not just saying that. You see, when they decided to send me here, I said goodbye to my parents as if it were my last chance to say it. And I forgot to mention this, but I don't think the moles want us here. I'll sit down and get their story if I can get more time to go out. I guess she understands the moles now. <laughs> Ow, Ribbit Ribbit Beta completed. It's Dr. Calzone's pride and joy. I hear it can use psi capabilities. What's left now is to wait for approval from back home and start mass production. I had a dream this morning. I left my body and flew over to Buffoon. I saw my parents there, but I cried a little when I woke up because they didn't notice me. Aww. Did I read this yet? Yeah. Sorry. Page 9. Fifth warning from the brownies. Dr. Calzone is totally depressing. Probably an ultimatum. Either leave the planet or cross swords with the brownies. The brownies use swords. But he's not that's not something that either Dr. Calzone or I can decide. A day filled with accidents. Dr. Calzone has been gone for a while. I guess the plant is undergoing a major renovation. Renovation! I'm spending days testing the amp psi capabilities. My own abilities have been on the rise, too. I used to be an average girl back when I was on the wind planet, except for, you know, my telekinesis skill. That may be a little weird, but now I can't move battle text with my mind. I don't know how I feel about that. And it's rather crazy. Time to start pack it, packing. It seems we'll abandon the plant, the plant for now. They say the brownies are about to launch an all-out attack. I see several rock giants walk, watching over the plant. Well, that explains what about the rock giants. Will the plant fall into the hands of the brownies? I'm happy to go back to Buffoon, but I don't want to leave some weird grudge behind. I'll be back here anyway. What would be the point of being able to move a battle tech with my mind back at Puffoon? I'd be a circus freak. Help me, Dr. Calzone! The robots are here! Dr. Calzone, where are you? You are logged in, right? I smashed eight of the latest models. I'll wipe them out again if they show up. How many are there? Dr. Calzone, anyone, please answer me. Come quickly! Uh, 
All right, folks, let that sink in. Apple Pie, evidently the true identity of the Gummy Girl, once used to work with Dr. Calzone who modified the robots. The robots came and turned people into gummies, including um, Apple Pie, because essentially since she's a magic user, I'm assuming Psy and magic are one and the same, except I guess Psy also involves telekinesis. And in any case, they turned her partially into a gummy, but she was still freaking alive as a half-gummy, half-human abomination. She asked you to kill her, and I guess she attacked you because you'd be more likely to kill her if she started, you know, launching magical attacks and screaming at you and stuff. Because, you know, you'd think if she wanted you to kill her, she wouldn't attack you that viciously, but, yeah, anyway. So, yeah. A girl partially turned into a gummy wanted you to kill her to free her from a fate of eternal life as a gummy being trapped between life and death. This is a kid's game. That's two instances of suicide in one E-rated game. What the heck, people? This is Nintendo? That might exp Actually, I have no idea. How is this? this game is somewhat obscure, but it seems to be quote-unquote popular enough that it got some kind of second printing relatively recently, I think, or... Because I saw a lot... I saw, told you, right? I saw lots of new copies for, like, $15, so it's some kind of re-release at a cheaper discount. So, I mean, if the game were that bad, wouldn't they just kind of let it fall into obscurity? But either way, Nintendo made this game, folks. Nintendo made this game... Well, actually, no, because Nintendo makes a bunch of other somewhat darker games, the Metroid series and such. Zelda can get a little dark at times. And Fire Emblem, for sure, but... Okay, it's a Nintendo game with an E rating with bright, cheery graphics, colors, and a lot of jokes. I mean, what the heck, folks. Really. Yeah. And there's still more... some more really, you know, mind-blowing stuff here. Actually, I'm not really certain where to go. <laughs> I wonder if I defeat all the pirates and all the pirates. Wow, all the police officers in town. Ah! This is no back and front attacks here. Okay then, I think I should at least stay at the end before heading out. This is the end, right? Ah! Pause again. I realize I have the map right here. The inn is this house, I believe. Good. Hey, oh, do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steel alloy pillows for maximum comfort efficiency. For what? Even robots would probably find that uncomfortable. Do something made out of rock. Heading out east. Yep. Target acquired! It's where the spaceport used to be! X-28, Y-44! Lassie's crashed spaceship around here somewhere. Whoops. Hey, chests. Hmm. We might have to fight those guys. Let me see if there are any chests. Putty pee. Apparently the putty pee is some the putty pee quest is some giant quest you have to do, but you know what? I'm lazy. I'm not a complete completionist. If I think, don't think something is completely worth my time, I'll just skip it and continue the game. I'm a semi-completionist if I think it's significant enough, or if I have enough time, or if I really, really like the game that much. I like this game, but not enough to waste time looking around for little things. Especially when there's no handy-dandy game fact guy telling you where everything is. <laughs> Target approaching! We'll hold them here for now! Requesting backup! Down charge!
sure, pick on him. That dizziness. That's what teardrop does, right? Cure yeah. stuff. Much a goner. Ah. Dang. Oh, well. ah. Seriously, physical attacks are almost useless in this game. Only a few enemies have any sort of like weakness to it. Bash do any significant damage. Now that again. Oh great, they're scorched. She's scorched. No, the thorny did that. Okay. turn left. Now it's your turn. Serious damage. Well, semi serious. Ah! Ah! Alright, last see, looks like a bunch of people need to pick me up. Ah. Bay has reached 37. Will she be forever a level behind? Perhaps. This seems serious. <laughs> that's right, folks. That's mu that's muzzle flash. Magnus muzzle flash. You might have heard him being talked about before. Well, here's the. Man in the flesh. I don't know, he's got blue skin and pointy ears. I don't... He's humanoid, so they all call him a man for the time being, but I don't know if he's actually human. These are the targets I brought here to destroy, but they're just children! Hardly worthy of my talent! Sir, yes, sir! They're children, sir! But they are powerful magicians, sir! Magnus Muscle Flash laughs at those who fear common children. Even magical ones! Magnus Muscle Flash shows children no mercy! And talks in the third person! I have your orders! Except when I want to talk in the first person! <laughs> okay. Sir, yes, 
Sir! You four men hold down- Hold them! And Magnus knows the Slash will bring them down! Wow, let me reread that. You four men hold them, and Magnus Muzzle Flash will bring them down! Ha <laughs> ha! Roger that, sir! Tails. Definitely need more of those. Oh, okay, I don't care if there's a monster in there, but... Is that new? Well, you're seeing it anyway. Bug on. Oh. Hey, you dodged it. Cool. Right. Ah! Okay, I just couldn't really dodge too well, I seen. The red gummy worm tail. No, uh, oh, okay, good. They got it before it could retreat in its hole. Attacking us! <laughs> Him. I missed, but Magnus Muzzle Flush never misses. Gotta shake the rust off from those years behind bars. <laughs> We're on your side. Don't shoot. I'm low on ammo, but I'm Magnus Muzzle Flush. My shots never miss, except when they do. Ah, retreat! Those kids are sure dodgy, aren't they? Muzzle flash! Blast! Out of ammo! Hey, there's something there in the background, isn't there? Moving about and doing something bizarre. In any case! <laughs> I'm confused too. Telephone. Leap! Target acquired. All energy systems powered up. What did you just say, Mocha? You're not looking so hot, Mocha. Initiating attack algorithm. Beep. 
Target of attack, stone giant. Get a hold of yourself, Moga! That had to hurt Pico more than it hurt Moga. I mean, you slam your hands against a sheet of solid metal. Even if it's slightly hollow. What am I doing? What do you think you're doing? You lost your mind right after you touched that door. Door? Let me touch it again. <laughs> What's wrong? What did you do, Mocha? I have no clue. Nice, let me save here. Actually, I probably have to stop the video soon anyway, but let's go for a couple more minutes. Didn't Da Vinci design something like this? Spinning flight machine ready for takeoff. Well, it's a spinning flight machine here, so uh, I'm guessing it's a spinning flying machine. A flying machine? So it can really fly? This thing? Fly? Huh. Hmm. Maybe that big spiral thingy catches the wind and makes it fly. Yep, you know what this calls for, folks. Spin just fine. It's spinning all right, but will it fly? Boo! If you don't trust me, then you can stay behind, Sorbet. But you better hop on before the wind dies. Well, we haven't had one of these in a while, have we? Bad CGI cutscene. Seriously! I think Reba would have better animation than this. Hmm. That was a funny little pixelation there. Dang! You gotta work on your landing! Seriously! That does not feel good! That was kinda rough, huh? It was bumpy. One of my data cables got jarred loose, and my motherboard started making me sing show tunes. <laughs> I almost forgot that line. That's a good one. <laughs> one <of> my, <laughs> my motherboard started making me sing show tunes. But I just hit myself in the chest and everything went back to normal. Aww. I can't really see straight. You're all fine. Let's go, people. We've got work to do. I'm trying to think positively, but nothing is coming up. <laughs> oh, these guys are awesome. Uh, I probably have to go on to the later, have to do it in a more later video, but take a look. His name is What's the Matter With Ya? Seriously. What's the Matter With Ya? Skiwoo! Then feeling in a funk. They look similar, even though they have different names. Shouldn't have done it. Not too sure. By the way, folks, these are the pyrites. The pyrites are pure awesome, as in pure awesomely hilarious. But again, I'll explain more in the next video once this scene is over. Well, whatever. Oh well. All clear, folks. Take it easy. <laughs> They're like, what are... Wow! I feel absolutely silly making those sounds, if you're wondering. Hey, you can use this thing now! Ski! They're 
you're just like, what the heck was that? Alright, I'll stop the video for now, so see you very soon.